What happened to Cody? You're taking his place. Yeah, I'm bringing you up. You want me to intro you? Uh, that's what your job's at. Get, get paid, will you? Jesus. All right, the you, man, wanna, you just want to pick up your man, paycheck. The myth, the legend, Dan D'Antoni. <laughs> uh, oh, fellas, that was, uh, that was an intense game. They're very physical. I thought we came out and hadn't experienced that before, and uh, they got into us hard, and uh, we kind of pushed out a little bit. We didn't push back. And the uh, second half, we talked about it. They started pressing and turned them over. And we started coming back, got ahead one point, and uh, uh, too far down for a good ball club when you miss all your free throws right after that. So I thought we had a chance. You can't go 10 to 21 from free throw line. We had some wide that we shot 20. 2% from threes, had wide open threes, three or four of them. Didn't finish on some plays that could have been M ones and the uh, game could have turned around. Because if you look at all the stats, I think we had 12 more shots than they did. Uh, the uh, turnovers off points, points off turnovers, 15 to 8 us. Uh, paint was 40 to 34 them, but that wasn't post ups. Those were drives. It's really not kind of paint shots that you usually talk about. Second chance points, six to four us. Fast break points, nine to eight us. Um, we, second half, we got their shooting percentage down from threes down. They got it down to uh, from, I think they were 50-some, and then 14 percent second half. And then, uh, you know, it's a, that's going to be a tough battle. And you just, it, it'll season us. I think they're much more seasoned than we were. They're older, a little bit older uh, all the way through. We got a couple guys at that age, but they got six or seven at that age. And uh, they're physical. And you got to give them credit for what they did. They're a good ball club. And they came in here to win. And uh, they're going to take away the W. But uh, I like our chances on down the road. It's not we got a good ball club, and it's going to get better. I always have confidence. I never go into a game that I lack confidence. Uh, maybe some people think too much, maybe, but uh, I don't. Uh, and I, I think that's really our free throw shooting is it's more of a confidence issue than anything. And you just got to block things out and play. You can't be afraid to win. And, uh, you know, it's uh, some people are afraid to lose, some people are afraid to win. And uh, uh, you, you can't be either. You know, you've got to be able to just doggedly play your game and be at it all the time. And when you look up, well, whatever happens, happens, you know. But don't uh, don't look for the tape. And don't look for uh, uh, the results. Just play the game where it is at the time it is and do the best you can. And our kids did do the best they can, but we're going to grow. We'll grow from this, and we'll be a better ball club. End of that 15-2 spurt, you guys came all the way back to well, that's that's the risk you run. That's why you don't want to go down 11, and uh, especially the way they play and the way we play, because we play games of runs. Problem is that they're playing so hard and physically that you got to play so hard to get back there, and that's where you know the first half we, you can't come out soft with these guys. You got to come out. We should have been trapping and moving like we had uh, the game before, because when we did it, they turned the ball over quite a few times. We had uh, a run that got us ahead by one. Uh, did we get tired? I think you get tired when you, you know, we missed some shots. Were, they, were you tired or were you going to miss them regardless? I, I don't know. If you figure that one out, let me know. I know that uh, uh, I, just, I just felt like it, it was more of a, it wasn't a physical tired. It's a, a mental focus that you have to learn in big games. And uh, we're still in the learning phase, obviously, and they, Although they missed, they gave us opportunities too. Now they didn't. wasn't like they just went up the foul line and made them all too. So, you know, it's a pretty even match, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And as we go down the line, we just got to regroup, get ready for uh, our road trip, our first road trip. I knew this conference was going to be tough. Uh, Old Dominion got beat, I think, first round at their place. And, uh, it's a it's a tough league, so we're gonna have to play, and it should be fun for our fans and everybody else. They seem to be disrupted on defense. Like 
seemed like it took a bit for you guys to get it on offense, especially way out in the perimeter. I felt like they changed that in the middle of the first half. They were more physical. And that coming up uh, is what you're talking about. They got up into us, and they were more physical. And we, I told them in half, you got to hold your line. You can't, you can't feel the pressure and give in to it. Just hold your line. Hold your line and keep going. They'll call foul. But if you shy away from it, then there's no foul. And it, they make life miserable for you. So I thought we did a little bit better, getting a little quicker. Uh, I think still that part wasn't really good, and we've got to get better at that. I thought we made our comeback off our defense and the ability to turn them over and come down. Made a few shots off of it. We're going to have to work uh, and be a little bit better with the heavy pressure in uh, our pick and rolls and, and things of that nature. All right. Merry, uh, Happy New Year. Merry New Year.